praise God. Hallelujah. It's Thanksgiving Sunday. Amen. Attention, please. Attention, please. It's Thanksgiving Sunday. And um, just think of the things you're thankful to God for. You don't have to say them. Think of them in your heart. Think and dwell on those things and meditate in. I say, God, I'm so thankful. I'm thankful for life. I'm thankful for being here. I'm thankful for being chosen as your own. I'm thankful for taking me as I am, for building me up on your rock. Don't look at me. I'm thanking God while speaking here. So thank the Lord for his grace, his mercy. You're standing here by his favor, by his unending mercy and compassion. Lord, we exalt you in this place. Just thank the Lord. Meditate you. Let your soul connect to the Father this morning. Let your soul say, bless the Lord. Let your soul cry, bless my God. God, you are Abba, you are King. We lift your name. Hallelujah. Lord, we exalt you in this place. We thank you for being our Father. And you are our Lord, Jesus. We are clear and you are our potter. We visit ourselves to you, O God. For being our King and our Lord, we exalt you in this place. Thank you, Father, for lifting us up, O Lord, from the dust. Thank you, Jesus. Let every heart, yes, say, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, Lord, I bless you, Jesus. I lift your name on high. I lift your name on high above all the heavens. I say, God, you are worthy of all the praise and the glory. Thank you, Father.
good. No, there's nothing we can actually do without God. Holy Ghost. The Bible says we seek first the kingdom of God, and every other thing will be added unto us. So there is nothing we can actually do without God. So everything that we need is actually in God. There is nothing we can find outside of God. So God, we are crying out to you today, and we are we are pouring out our hearts to you because we want more of you. Because without you, there is this boy we always feel. Without you, there is this emptiness we always have. So Father, we are crying out to you today. We are telling you with all of our hearts, and everything that we need is you, God. All I need, all I need is you. All I need is you. That's why.
Jesus name in Jesus name I just want us to open our mouth this time and just thank God for the ministries in Church on the Rock Church on the Rock has uh, we have different ministries different ministries reaching out giving opportunities for people to serve God in different ways I just want us to first of all use this time to bless the name of the Lord for the ministries, for the leaders of the ministries, for the opportunities he has given us to serve. We have the praise and worship, we have the media, we have the drama, we have the dance ministry, we have the, the Latinos, we have the teenage ministry, we, we, we have the organizing ministry, we have different ministries, we have the prayer ministries. We just want to thank you, Lord, for this opportunity. We thank you for all these places for us to serve you. We thank you for this avenue. Thank you, Jesus. Let us just open our mouth to bless the name of the Lord. Let us open our mouth to thank God for the leaders, for the members of this ministry. Just open your mouth and bless the name of the Lord for each and every ministry. The ministry that reach out to the to those that are in hospital, the ministry that reach out to the pensioners. Let's just thank God for the Ukrainian ministry, every ministry in church on the rock, every ministry. Let's just thank God for that. Thank you. Let's bless of the leaders for the responsibility. Those that were given the vision to carry these ministries. Those that were handed the ministries were handed over to. Let's just thank God for their lives, for the grace, for the wisdom that God has bestowed that upon their lives that they are able to carry the ministry up to this time. Let us open our mouth right now and just commit the ministries into God. Huh? That God will expand these ministries. That God will bring about growth in these ministries. That the lives of the members in these ministries will be glorifying to God in the name of Jesus. That every leader, every person that has been put in position and place to lead this ministry, that God will give them more no vision, more no wisdom to carry this ministry to greater heights in the name of Jesus. Just lift up each ministry you are in, each ministry in church on the God. Just open, open your mouth and commit it into God's hand. Thank you, Jesus. 
you are still praying. Begin to edify yourself in the spirit. Father, we thank you. You're a good father. You're faithful. You're the same yesterday, today, and forever. That we've seen you do it before, we will see you do it again and again. You're a faithful God. Jesus, you're perfect. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Right now we're going to be praying for our crocodiles. We're using the, the sixth course especially as our point of contact. I just want us to begin to lift them into the mighty hands of God. Now the Bible says that the, the, the horse is prepared for the, for the battle. Everything is already set. But it's the Lord who shows mercy. On our own, we cannot do anything. We are committing them right now into the mighty hands of God. That is not by power, it is not by might, but by the strength of God. By that spirit of God on the inside of them. In the name of Jesus. They are excelling. In the name of Jesus. It's just a few days from now. If you ask from now, we are counting down. You know that the Lord is, is going to do mighty things in their midst, in their lives, in the name of Jesus. Every person represented in church on the rock, every person named under the name of Christ that is writing that examination, they are excelling in the name of Jesus. Our members are not failures in the name of Jesus. Begin to commit them into the mighty hands of God. Mention them by name. Those that you remember, those that you know, mention them by name. The third course students also, we are committing them into the mighty hands of God. There is success in the name of Jesus. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. That is the same word we are declaring upon each and every one of them. The things that are left for them to come and the Holy Spirit is giving them speed. Holy Spirit is giving them, you know, accuracy in the name of Jesus. The help of God is for them. They are the help of God in the name of Jesus. The Lord is their helper. That we declare success. We thank you. We thank you. Your minds are sound in the name of Jesus. You will not be confused in the name of Jesus. The Holy Spirit will bring things to your remembrance in the name of Jesus. You will testify of how good the Lord was to you in the examination in the name of Jesus. You will not hear of any evil news. You will not hear of any evil in the name of Jesus. Jesus, you will show yourself mightily again on the behalf of those who have trusted in you. But I will thank you. Because they are victors. The Bible says we are more than conquerors. This examination has already, is already gone in the name of Jesus. The Lord has already done what he wants to do in Jesus' name. That every one of them, every one of them who are writing and preparing for this examination, Jesus, that you will cause your face to shine upon them. Your favor is upon them. In the name of Jesus, there will be no problem whatsoever in the examination hall. In the name of Jesus, they have retentive memory. Yes, they have understanding. They have wisdom and knowledge. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless you already. We give you glory. We give you thanks because we know that you have done it. You've perfected it all. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise God. Let's see pray. That's how we pray for our church building. Many of us want to leave this place for a better place. Many of us want to leave this building for a better place. Many of us see that better place. Many of us are right in that better place. Right now, to just open up our mouth and bless God for this new building that has given us to us already. You know, that's the reason why we are even having this, this 410 Thanksgiving service. So I want us to just open up our mouth and to bless God for this building. So let's thank Him because He has done it already. Let's adore His name because, yes, we see it. No, we are entering majestically, we are walking in majestically in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's thank you because He has given us this, this place, this temple to worship in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father, Lord God. 
we bless you Jesus we ask God are you providing my Lord Jesus everything I needed Heavenly Father in the mouth of Jesus we ask God are you providing my Lord in the mind of Jesus, Heavenly Father, I will bless you, Lord Jesus. And I will see you in Heavenly Father, Lord God. In your promise, Lord Jesus. You see, when we ask Heavenly Father, Lord God, that you shall give unto us, Lord, in the mind of Jesus. Father, we are asking, Lord God, for that building in the mind of Jesus, that temple, Lord God, that you've ordained it for us from the very beginning. In the mind of Jesus, for us to be convenient, comfortable, worshiping you, praising you, adoring you all in Him. In the mind of Jesus, I will thank you, Heavenly Father, Lord God, in the mind of Jesus. Rema Zakarebu, Rema Shika Karaba Zakare, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, I bless you, Lord God. We thank you, Heavenly Father. Yes, Lord Jesus. Rema Zakarebu, Sotari Mashika, Rema Zakarala, Sotari Masiki, Rema Shika, in the name of Jesus. I must just open our mouth and just bless God and praise God. You see? When, let me, let me cite an example. Praise God, praise God. When David, when God asked David to, to build a temple for him, he was glad. He was happy. Because he knows this is where he's going to go to worship God. Praise God. He was glad. He was happy. And he says in Psalms that, I'm glad when he said, let us go to the house of God. Let us go to the house of our most high. And praise God, in this church, we've spent so many years in this building. But then, we know God is taking us to a better place. How many of us know that? We know that God is taking us to a better place. So, let's just open up our mouths with gladness now. So, with gladness in our hearts. And thank God for this building already. Just open our mouth and thank God because He has given us to us this building already. He says, on this rock I shall build my church. That that building uh, is, is going to be sighted on that rock that God wants us to be in the mind of Jesus. And the gate of hell shall not prevail against you. Uh. Yes, Heavenly Father. In the promise, Heavenly Father, we are standing upon your promise, Lord God. Uh, in the mind of Jesus. Uh. Father, thank you because we are not wanderers, Lord God. Uh. Thank you because we are not wanderers, Lord Jesus. Uh. We are not a church without a building. Uh. But we are not in church without a roof over our head. Father, Lord, we trust in you, Lord Jesus. How we are going to do this, Heavenly Father. You are, you've done it in the past, Lord God Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father, because you're providing, Lord God, everything necessary, Lord. The form, the finances, Lord Jesus. The location, Heavenly Father. In the mind of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for our sad prayers. We bless you for the mind of God, Lord Jesus. We pray going to use the mighty Lord God. Going to direct him in the mind of Jesus. Going to do set his, 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 his legs, his, his ways, Lord Jesus, according to, you, to your plan and your will for him in the mind of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for answered prayers. We bless you. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because you've done it already. Amen. church in the morning service that his spirit will cause the increase in us individually as personally in our lives is going to cause us to increase our relationship with him will be sure it will be founded in him and him alone that you're going to intercede even for yourself and pray that god is increasing you you know as a church what does it mean for us to increase it means that everyone individually is increasing everyone is growing in him everyone is growing in relationship with him in understanding of him it's a different level with him entirely we're going to pray that the spirit of god is leading you this time it is not you leading not it's not you trying to build the relationship it is him leading you and it's be glorious we're going to pray for you so that the spirit of god is leading you to grow in him he's the one waking up in the morning to pray to seek his face to dwell in his presence and if everyone here grows in him there will be increase as a church and they're growing not, not just in quality but also in quantity that people are coming to his presence and growing in him in the name of jesus we're going to 
we're going to have, we're going to fellowship with the Holy Spirit this time. That God, I'm increasing in you, Lord. You're the one pulling me to your presence. You're the one calling me to you. As I move closer to you, I grow in you. I draw closer to you. My spirit is one with you. And we are all growing as a church. In the name of Jesus. ceased to come. We're not going to pray for those people that have ceased to come. That God is going to call their hearts to him again. He's going to call their souls to him again. It's going to cause a yearning, a hunger for him, a thirst that cannot be quenched. That his spirit will cause the stirring himself in their hearts in the name of Jesus. We're going to intercede for these people. And this will cause our increase again. And we'll grow. And these people will reach out to other souls that are lost. We're going to pray. We're going to intercede for these people from your heart. From a heart of understanding, a heart of, a heart of hunger for the Lord. A heart of desire. Desire for the increase of the kingdom of heaven. Lord, we exalt you and we know we know that we are to see the Lord we pray in your name. Father, you hear us. Thank you, Jesus. We are allowing you to do what you want to do in this church. We are allowing you to do what you want to do. Father, have your way. Have your way as you please. We are stepping aside for you to have your way. We are stepping aside. Have your way. Lead us, so oh God. Lead us as a church. Lead us personally. Lead every single person. God, the leaders, the pastors, every single soul, members, help us. Lead everyone, oh God, to you, oh God. Lead us, oh Jesus. in every way wonderful beautiful we're rounding up with the prayers now I wanted to hold someone close to you we're going to join our face together and I want you to begin to speak the word of the Lord upon that person's life don't stand without holding someone together as a church we pray the Bible says yet two or three are in the presence of the Lord the presence of the Lord is there and God of the Lord. We are going to worship and our praise is going to be lifted up to Jesus this morning. Bless you want no one, no one. We're going to declare the word of the Lord upon the life of that person. Speak, speak the grace of God. And release the word of God. Release the word of God upon that person you're holding. Speak as a church. We are one together in the body of Christ. We're going to declare. We're going to speak our name. You were matchless. Wonderful. You're wonderful, Lord, you're beautiful, and you're glorious. Wonderful. You're wonderful, Lord, you're beautiful, and you're glorious. Wonderful. You're wonderful, Lord, you're beautiful, and you're glorious. Lord, you're beautiful, oh, you're glorious. We are on your
as we hear the word today, that the word is coming in our hearts and is permeating every part of our lives. The word is hitting the rock in our lives like a dynamite and we are being melted before the throne of grace. As we receive the word today, that our hearts are being transformed. Our lives are being changed. In the name of Jesus, begin to speak to yourself that the word you're going to receive today will not stand as a judgment to you, but God is going to use it to transform your life in every area in the name of Jesus. Begin to speak to every part of your life, every part of your life that needs to be touched, that God is touching you today as the word comes forth in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says the word of the Lord is like a double-edged sword. It pierces through the very bone and marrows. Setting that asunder. That the Lord is dividing into the soul. In the name of Jesus. That very thing that has stood as a interest in your life all these years. That God is bringing his word tightly. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at the open heart. I'm going to pray for the word you're receiving today. You are beautiful. Oh, you are Everyone, you're wonderful, Lord, you're beautiful, oh, you're glorious. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you. We bless your name, Lord. We thank you for all that you have done for us. We thank you for your mercies and your loving kindness. We thank you for all the prayers that have been prayed here this morning, for the ministry, for the church building. For the for the crook heights, for those people writing crook, for the increase of the morning service. We thank you for everything that has been brought before your throne this morning. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for everything because we know that you hear us. We thank you for your mercies. We thank you for your grace. And Lord, as we continue in this fellowship, may your spirit come and continue with us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, may our hearts be receptive to your word. May our spirits be receptive to your word. As we sit down today to listen and to get things from you, may we be blessed in every area of our lives. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus Christ's name we have prayed. Amen. Sit down as we welcome our pastor, Pastor Alfonso, for the word. Hallelujah. Good morning, brothers and sisters. That is good. If you are so far, you can come more near, please. Here is the we places until now free for big persons. <laughs> that is good. Yes, Lord, hallelujah. God is good for you. You can say to your neighbor, neighbor my God is good. My God is good, and he's faithful all the time. Hallelujah. Please, you can open your, your Bible with me. In Gospel of Matthew, chapter 11, from verse 28. Gospel of Matthew, Gospel of Matthew, chapter 11, from verse 28. Yes, we have it. Some person can read, please, from 28 till 30. Some person can read, please. Only loudly. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for this morning. We bless your name. And here, Lord, we are in the precious name of Jesus. I want to ask, Lord, open the eyes of understanding, Father, to see today the wonder of your Lord. We need you, Lord. We commit ourselves to you, Holy Spirit. Talk with us. Let, Lord, the light of your gospel, Lord, shine over our lives. In the precious name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. The topic, uh, what I want to share today, 
with you is strengthening through the acceptance. Straight, strengthening through the acceptance. Yes, acceptance. You know, uh, a child, everyone here was a child someday, yes? Maybe you don't believe in it, but someday you was a little child. You was maybe three and half kg, maybe three kg, maybe four kg, but someday you was a child. And someday you was in the womb of your mom. Amen? Very near to, his heart, to her heart. Yes? And you listen there, the beating of the heart of your mom. You know about it? Hallelujah. But when your mom accepts you, you feel free and you feel secure. But when your mom don't want you and you are inside, you feel very insecure and the science proves it. When the mom wants to do abortion, when the mom rejects her own child, the child feels it. The body of this child is filled of adrenaline because this child feels rejection. You are with me? From the womb, the human being needs acceptance. From the womb, we need the acceptance from our mother. When we are a child, we need the acceptance of our parents. When we are already a teenager, we need the acceptance of our friends around us. Yes? If not, we feel bad. How many teenagers commit suicide because they are, they are outsiders? They are in bullying. The people don't want to accept them. And when we are already mature, we need the acceptance of someone who loves us. Amen? If we don't have this person, we are unhappy. We are very, very unhappy. We need the acceptance of someone from the beginning until the end. And acceptance is the need of each human being. Are you agree with me? Yes? And here we read a call of Jesus. Come to me, everyone. And when I read these lines, I can imagine when the Lord Jesus said this sentence, come to me, everyone who is tired. I can imagine him with open arms and with big smile in his face. Come to me, everyone who is tired. Come to me, everyone who is with broken heart. Come to me, everyone who is frustrated. Come to me, everyone who is rejected. Come to me, everyone, if you are forsaken. Come to me, and you will find in me peace for your souls. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to invite to this place in our imagination a precious and wonderful lady that is one of the heroes in the scriptures. And she knows what is the word acceptance. Because she is a lady, as most of us was a foreigner. She came very far to a new land with all the stress with all the doubts, with all the scares inside because she is leaving her motherland to come to a new land that she never, never knows. I want to invite this morning our beloved sister in Christ, Sister Ruth. <laughs> Welcome, Ruth. <laughs> A wonderful sister. Please open your Bible quickly in Ruth chapter 2. It's after the book Judges. If you don't, if you are seeking, where is Judge? 
Where is the truth? After the Judges, chapter 2 from verse 11. Chapter 2 from verse 11 till 13. Please, someone else can read, please, loudly. From 11 till 13. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Jesus is the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. You see, brothers and sisters, she came to a new land. She came to a new place. She left her motherland, and now she is accepted by a man here, both in other land. You left your house, you left your town, and you came to this new place. How often people come into the church and they expecting for acceptance, but so often they don't feel well. Why? One of the reasons, because we're feeling well among us, in our circle. I feel well with this brother, with this brother, with this sister. I don't need no one else more. It's good for us. I already know three years this person. But a new person to my, to my environment, oh, no, no, it's very big risk. I, I am not angry. But brothers and sisters, each person who come into the church, to the kingdom, need acceptance. Amen? And yes, yes, okay, yes. I don't will demand from you if you are a spiritual child. But if you are a spiritual young and you are a spiritual father and mother, it's our task, it's our responsibility. Amen? To accept a people who come into the kingdom. Israel here is the prototype of the kingdom of God. Ruth here is the prototype of the church who coming from the well, who coming from the darkness, who coming from far, far away to this place of rest. Amen? Please let me attend to everyone who come into the house of the Lord to show love and to show acceptance. Amen? We have here some person who came the first time. No one. Second time. Third time. Oh, in this case, say to your neighbor, welcome. <laughs> welcome. Welcome. <laughs> I, I, I listen about one history that, that really, really explained this in very short sentence. This history happened in one state of U.S. And this happened in one church. A, mother, a grandmother was praying for a young lady. This young lady was drug addict and she had very bad kind of life. And once she came to the 